We need to pray for your mom. You hear me? Yes. Let's pray for mama, eh? for healing. Demon will stop marriage. Come on. Why you don't want her to marry? Huh? I can't hear you. See, those people are against you, Mama. Those people are behind you. These people want to kill you. You have got many enemies, Mama. Yes. They are, they are jealousing you. Yes. Huh? From what you are doing. All right. But they will never stop you. Bring it. Come on, spirit of... Come on, leave it. What happened? Was she in hospital? Let me hear. Uh, eh? Not recently. Not eh? recently. No. She was in the hospital before? Yeah, before when she bent at school. When she bent? Yeah. Because I'm seeing this thing can take you to hospital. Oh, yes. She just recently had an accident at home. Huh? Uh, she recently had an accident at home, but um, the car was damaged. It didn't hurt her. She never all. went to hospital? No, no, no. She didn't get to hospital. She's feeling pains all over her body. She never told you? No, she didn't say. Because she doesn't want to disturb you, eh? Mama, how do you feel in your body? I'm okay. I've got a pain here, but now You're I'm okay. Pain. Yes. You were feeling pain? Yes, yes. Yeah. You don't feel it now? And I don't feel it. You're not feeling it now? Yes. You're free. Okay. Where is your wife? I'm not yet married, but I'm staying with a, a living partner. You're you are speaking right. I, because I saw someone you a short lady like this yes eh? yes you were together yes and what happened uh we separated you separate but that's what uh, you're speaking right now you got another one at the moment i'm staying yes i'm, I'm living with someone did else. you get another one i'm living with someone else yes so i wanted to say to you why is it happening fast to you i beg your pardon you need counseling Yes. It's happening fast. Yes, because I was arranging to get married on the somewhere in September. And then I was the short lady left you. She's living with someone else. She's married to someone else, yes. Yeah, because you, you can't see you were supposed to be asking God that you were two like this. And this lady was saying, She And she chose this one. You understand? I understand you. So where is the lady you want to marry now? No, she's, she's here at home today. Where? No, I'm living with her at my yeah. apartment. You are living with her? Yes. How long are you are living together? It's been more than uh, three years now. It's not so fast, the way you are doing things. I, I think I'm... Um, I think I'm, not, I'm, 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 I'm not asking to condemn you. I just want you to see, because nobody can ask you that question. Yes. You're on your, your own. Yes. You are doing everything on your own. What you are doing, is it not so fast? No, I think I'm ready. Yeah? Um, I think I'm ready. Um, I don't think it's not so it's fast. I think I'm ready. I will advise you. Eh? Yes. You need to know the people you are dating. I need to do what? You need to know them. Yes. You understand? Yes. You need to know the people you are dating so that you must not be in a serious mess like what happened to your father. Because what I'm seeing, when I look at you, I see what happened to your father. It's about to happen to you. You understand? Otherwise, you're going to have children there. Children there. I want to pray for you. God will help you. You understand? Amen. I want God to give you wisdom. Yes. So that you'll be able to break this curse in your family. 
Amen. You, you need to know these people. You must not go by beauty. Amen. Beauty is but skin deep. <laughs> you love beauty. <laughs> and, and this is the spirit of your forefathers. I'll pray for you. <laughs> Amen. After I pray for you, I know you'll be able to marry. But if not, you are going to take the woman, you stay with it, you move, you get to another one outside. You find you are playing cards like this. Spirit of your forefather must leave you. You are a good man. God bless you. Just care. My mom must be very careful. I just heard a gunshot. Bah! I heard a gunshot. You must be careful. I'll pray for you. You must be careful. Where is your car? Huh? I can't hear. So where is your car, Mama? It's outside. Outside. Yeah. We need to protect you with your car. You understand, Mama? What kind of car are you driving? A Polo Vivo. Huh? Nobody will take your car. Huh? Nobody will take your car. Okay. You, you need deliverance, eh? You need deliverance. You need deliverance. This is a unique spirit. Put a mic in a mouth. This is, this is a unique spirit. You need deliverance. You are crying about your daughter. You are, you are worrying about your daughter. That's true. Man. Huh? That's true. It's like there are people who want to mess her up. Yes, that's huh? true. That's true, man. Concerning even the issue of career. Yes. The career and the marriage are breaking. That's true. Huh? That's true, man. Of course. You are free. So where is your daughter now, Mama? Where is your daughter? Which one? Huh? Is I'm living with her. You are living with her? Yes. She's no longer living with her husband. I can't hear what she's saying. It's a bridge. They took their house. So yes. I'm staying with them. You are no longer living with them. Yeah, I'm living with them now. Their their houses, they've taken the bank. Huh? The house the house is repossessed. Yes, they possess. That's the why house. I say you are you are worrying about. Yes. You are worrying about them. Don't worry. God will bless them. Thank you. Thank you, Amen. I'm hearing about someone here. Can you stand up, Mama? God wants to heal you, eh? You are free, Mama. You are free. I don't want to talk more with, with you. Can you just stand up? The reason why I want to pray for you, you have been going around churches without solution. Yes, man of God. Even, even when you come here, you, you, you thought God won't help you. It's not true. It's true, man of God. We, we have not prayed for you, but... Already you have lost hope. It's true. Sometimes when you sleep, you are like a dead person. It's true, man huh? of God. It's true, man because of God. Because there's something that comes and press you down there. It's true. And uh, if this thing does not leave you, your life is going to be meaningless. It's true. So God loves you. There's no way that there will be, won't be a progress from now on. 
Because you see, you're going here, you're going there, you're going everywhere. Now you're tired now. That's true, man. I've got... It's like Satan wants to take you to Sagomas now. Because you have not seen anything God doing in your life. It's not true. It's true. So now God is helping you. You must hold him. Even when you see him blessing you financially, hold him. You understand? Amen. Because your body here, this is not your body. You are losing weight. You are losing everything. Amen. Receive this. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive, 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 receive. You are free. Can you confirm what I'm telling you? Confirm what I'm telling you. Yes, it's true, man of God. I'm moving all the churches in Zone 8, so as in everywhere I'm going to church, but everything is not working. I'm going, I'm getting jobs, but I'm working there, jumping gold. Every month I'm changing, everything is not moving in my life. You know what's the reason? I don't know. Eh? I don't know. You were supposed to be married. It's true, man of God. And, and why you deny that? I don't know. No, you, you, were, you were a person of status. And look how far are you now. When people used to come to you, you used to curse them. Curse them. But look at your life now. But now that you have come to Jesus, tell yourself, okay, I want to hold on. Amen. And then I need to marry a Christian. Amen. Because all the people you were following, all of them disappointed you. I saw four people. Amen. This one, one by another, disappointed you. But now that you are here, God is honoring you. Amen. Confirm what I'm saying. Sorry? Can you confirm what I'm telling you? <clears throat> I was saving someone from home that he promised to marry me. Ah, we arrange and arrange. Then when the time goes on me, eh? I jumped to another one. I stay with him for, for a long time. He promised to marry me. Ah, I get another one. I get another one. Two months or three months, I get another one from around here. I want to watch it. After this July, I was going to be married. July, this July. Same chicken, but for now. I... <laughs> so, is it not what I'm telling you? There are four already. What she needs to do is she to sit down and tell herself, no, now I want Jesus to do it for me. And yeah. I promise you, God will never disappoint you. Amen. You know, most of the time, we do things by looking at the people of our standard. And then now when they come, they want to marry, we say yes, yes, another one comes just like that. And you see four people, all of them, by the last minute, everything. Now you look at her like this, in her heart she's crying. Amen. Always cry this woman. And God heard your tears. So you will never cry again. Amen. As I'm speaking with you here, Amen. God will give you a right man. I receive, man of God. When I say confirm, I want you to hear that it's God speaking with you people. Because some people say, four. And the last one also, July. When is July? It's not now. Huh? Now she doesn't have, even have a makeup. No makeup now. How do we know that things are going well by makeup? It's not true. Eh? Now there's no even a makeup now. Brother, God loves you. Eh? Thank you. 
but there are wrong friends around you. It's true. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. These people are drunkards. It's true. Huh? Yeah, it's true. And then you, what are you doing with them? Because how can God bless you when you are in time? The language they are speaking, you are speaking it now. Because these people are drunkards. What are you doing with them? Are you a drunkard? No, sir. So what do you do with these people? If you don't leave them, God won't bless you. You understand? Yes, I understand, sir. You are a very intelligent person. But nothing is working for you. It's true, sir. You are so intelligent. Even when you are still going to school, everything was fine, but everything has stopped like nothing happened. Yes, it's true. Is it true what I'm saying? Yes, it's true. I want to pray for you, but leave these people. You know, my fear is if you are blessed and you are with them, these people will come and st take everything from you. You hear what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. So it's good that you're not supposed to be with them. Have a blessing. In fact, I'm trying to separate you with the spirit of these people. Because you can't separate with them. It's, it's true, impossible. Eh? It's true. Always they, they call you. When you keep quiet, they call you. You come out. But they're drunker. So God loves you. You are free. Thank you. It's true what you said. Um, even last month I was back home. Um, there were people who were um, constantly calling me that I should go to the tavern, but I refused. And what I, when you are in tavern, when they are drinking, what are you doing? Um, back then, I, um, I used to drink, but I, I stopped now. When did you stop? Um, the, uh, this year in January. So when you are in the tavern, when they are dancing, drinking, yourself, what are you doing? Right now. I'm not... When you are with them, when they call you to come there, because I saw they call you. And now you I'm went... no longer going to the tavern. You're no longer going to the tavern. Mm -mm. So these people, it's better you remove them from your, from your phone. It's then you will make it. Okay. I want to pray for you. You are suffering a lot. Eh? Yes. Because I'm just hearing you crying on your bed. It's not true, Mama. It's true. I heard you crying in your bed, say, God, but what is it that I'm living for? Eh? It's true. I want to bless you. I want to bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. God wants to remember you. Thank you. There's nobody around you. I can't see anybody. Who can as support you? That's why you just say hey, you are living a life, but it was as good as you were dead. Yes, I stay with my, my two children. Yes, but there's nobody who's helping you. No. That's what I'm saying. God loves you. True. Let me pray for you. God will fight for you from today. You are free, brother. Come. There's a job that you were searching, but you never get it, even now. Yes. Yeah? Yes. You'll find it. By praying for you, it's like I'm praying for the whole family. Let me touch you also. When I'm praying for you, I'm just hearing that you must just forgive the past. Forgive the past. Okay, sir. Eh? I will. I will. I will uh, because you, they broke your heart. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. So just forgive. Just forgive. Okay, sir. There's a woman also who broke your heart. Yes, and uh, this is really hurting you even now. Yes. That's why you're lonely. You're free. Let me touch you. You're free. This is a spiritual husband. Mama. It's a spiritual husband here. 
Living here, come on. Go. Is he your wife? Eh? Yes. She's Thank, your you wife Je- Thank you, Jesus. She's yes. possessed. Yes, that's true. I was planning a journey to go to Scone. Eh? I was planning a journey to go to Scone. You were planning to go to Scone with her? Yes, there's a demon in there. Lift her. Yes, for so many years. And this demon doesn't make it to respect you. Yes, that's true, Daddy. Eh? That's true, Daddy. So there's nothing you can say that she take, but forgive her. Okay, Come on, daddy. the demon. What I do to her? Look at the demon. Huh? I'm making them to to suffer. You are making them to suffer. It's so now their house. Their what? The tenants there. A they tenant. burn their house. The I'm tenants, making them the tenants to burn your house. Yes, I don't want them to have any money. As long as he has it, my wife, he will suffer. I will never leave him Brother, until he leaves my wife. You marry someone's wife. Their house is burned. That's no true, money. Daddy. Yeah. That man is very rich. Which but wife? he will never get any cent because he took my wife away from me. She's supposed to be my wife. But he took it from me. Are you and a spiritual husband? The problem is that this man loves this spiritual. wife so much. The I can't even husband. sleep with my wife anymore because of this man. You see this man? He used to pray so much, but I've made him to not to pray anymore. Brother, how is she in your house, your wife? She's very manipulative and controlling. She's manipulative and controlling. Yes, she, she, con- she, she likes to be a man in the house. And you become a woman? Yes. And what is it that you are doing uh, that she wants you to do most of the time? No, sometimes when she's angry, she doesn't want to cook, so I cook. I look after the children, I bath the children. You cook? Yes, daddy. Uh, uh, your food is a real food when you cook. <laughs> and she come and eat? Yes, she eats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. So this is the demon that is causing that. Don't worry. Okay. Daddy. So the house is burned. You are the one who burns the house. I don't want them to have money. You don't want them to have money. Even when I've cost, uh, he mm. used to work at the mine. I've made the management there to hate him. He was fired at work last year. Is he because, stayed for five months. Is it months. because of you? <laughs> Are you the one who caused them? He took my wife. He took your wife? Brother, you Give took... Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Yeah. Then I will leave him alone. He must give Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Exactly. The she demo, was the demo said, given to me Caesar. before even she was even born. Demon said, give Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Her grandmother, she divorced... At an old age. Don't worry. The don't grandmother. Worry. Whatever you are hearing, don't worry about it. The Lord is in control. The grandmother. Okay, Daddy, thank the you. The grandmother God. suffered. The whole family from so, her side suffered. Are you coming here for the first so time? why must she live like ca- a queen? No. I can't hear. Are you coming here for the first time? No, I've. Uh, this is my third time. This is the third time? Yes. So you wanted to take her for deliverance? Yes, at the school. Huh? Yes. So. Yeah? Let this, this, I don't know Give what to call hand. them to leave me. So that I can be, I can be able to talk to you I'm freely. shaking hand with you. Let them leave me. Deliver your wife. Yeah. Deli- deliver your wife. Leave I, me. I command you in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out. You are back on the floor. You are back on the floor. Come out of here. You are back on the floor. <laughs> that demon <laughs> that demon knows that, that <laughs> deliver him, deliver deliver put your hand there on the come table. out in the mighty name of Jesus <laughs> say you 
are free, he said. You are free in Jesus' name. Live it. Live it. The demon will come out. You see, brother, she's free now. She must cook for you. Thank you, Jesus. Take your wife. Rise up. Rise up there. Rise up. Uh, tell her you are free. Tell her. You are free in Jesus' name. Okay, okay. Give a big kiss. Give it. Sister, look here. Don't cry, don't cry, it's over. She's surprised people are looking at her. And then also you must know that it's not her, it's a what? It's a demon. Remember that demons make you a wicked. It makes you ungodly. And this man loved his wife. Uh, he is tired. His spirit is tired. Sometimes you look around, you find, you know, somebody is controlled by demon, and you are also not controlled, but you are doing what the person is doing. When the person clap, you want to clap. If a person, sister, how do you feel? I'm fine. Don't cry. Don't cry. God loves you. Uh, you are, listen to this. L listen to this. Remember, this is a generational case. What happened to her happened to her grandma, happened to her mom. Now she's married now. And then I want to tell you, you are going to enjoy marriage, but you must never, listen, my sister, you must never allow your husband to cook for you. Yeah, yes. Huh? Yes, sister. Yeah, even when you feel lazy, know that there's a demon. There are some things that you people can be aware if it's a demon or not. When you're feeling like, no, I don't want to cook today, stand up, fight it. Go and cook because it's not you. You find that sometimes it comes like a thought. I'm sure you understand that. And you say, no, no, today, let's go and let's. The moment you just hear, let's go and eat outside, say, eh, eh. No, I will wait for my husband to do that. I'm not going to eat outside. I want to cook. And you tell your husband, I want to cook for you. You understand? You are overcoming that demon. But if now you entertain this demon saying, go outside and eat. You say, I don't feel like cooking. Can we go outside? You tell your husband. This demon, you are giving him chance now. Giving him chance. You must do everything for your husband. Otherwise, somebody will replace you. If somebody cook for you, you go outside there. You go to the, let's say, mug and bean. When you reach the, my sister, you'll be surprised those sisters who are cooking for your husband. They will be passing in front of your husband like this. Like this. And yourself know that you brought your husband there. If you take your husband out, you are losing your husband. Cook for your husband. There will be a time your husband sees you are tired. He will come to the kitchen. Don't call your husband to the kitchen. No, you will see the need. Uh, my wife is tired. Now you will come to the, I'm sure you understand that. He will come to help you. Most of the time, we open space for Satan, and Satan enters. Like myself, uh, always I'm eating food, but I can't cook. I'm sure you understand that. Tell somebody says, you must cook for your husband. The food, if mama cook food, I'll tell you. If mama cook food, I know. I can tell you, even when mama brings food there, and I'm sitting there, if I'm eating papa, I take papa like this, I'll tell you, ask mama, will tell you. I'll tell you that this food, mama, this papa is not you, it's not you who cook it. Pa the papa of mama, I know it. I can tell you. 
And then when I eat that pap, I feel, I feel relieved. The moment I take papa of mama, I do like this. The heat inside the papa, it doesn't go. But, but if you are somebody's cooking, I take like this here. Even when I do like this, I'll find my hand, all of it here. It's papa. But that one of mama, if I do like this, I do like, my, my hand is still clean. When I eat it, it just goes nicely without problem. I don't need water to swallow. I'm sure you understand that. So you people, you know, your wife, if you are a wife of this husband, know that your husband wants to eat what you are cooking. If not, you are giving your husband poison. That's why very soon, if your husband is eating outside, whatever, you'll come and say, I've got constipation. I don't know what is happening. It's food that you are bringing in your house. Very soon you are fighting. In Nigeria language, they say, whoever cooks for you, you have eaten that person. If now a lady come and cook for me, I've eaten the person. So the character of the person will start to be visible on me. That's why we have got spirits. Spirit of lust, problems, whatever. It's the food you're eating. So be careful of food. From now on, how many of you are wives here? Cook for your husband. Are you a wife, brother? Cook. <laughs> cook for your husband. Can you tell? Can you tell the wife close to you? Are you a wife? Cook for your husband. <laughs>